Let's start exploring the included effects options. Effects pads can use one of six effect types stutter, auto filter, gator, flanger, stopper, and delay. Each effect comes with FX presets. Let's try some now. You can switch effects on a pad easily. Select pad 1, now select a different effects type. Presets are available to try different sounds. Some presets might be greyed out. These are shown once the Pro FX are unlocked. Once you've found a great preset, switch more effect pads. Use FX latch to toggle effects on or off. You can now save this layout or group for use in other projects. Select FX groups. Tap the plus button. Give it a name and then tap save. You can now switch between FX groups. Let's review the Pro FX starting with Auto Filter. Auto Filter uses a classic analog filter design from Novation Synthesizers, along with a beat synced LFO. First, latch the effect pad to hear it. This control affects the cutoff frequency. This control sets the filter type to high pass, or band pass, or low pass. This control sets the LFO amount. This control sets the LFO speed. This control allows for very long LFO times. This control will set the start point, useful for where you want the filter to start when you press it. The auto filter is designed for performance. You will notice that the pads update as you modify the sound. Stutter is a performance beat repeater effect. Press and hold. Press the pad and hold it. Length can be set from one beat, half beat, quarter beat or an eighth beat. Triplets are also available. One great use of the stutter effect is to assign it only to the drums. The FX track assign buttons are available at the top. Now deselect tracks 3 to 8. The stutter effect is now only applied to tracks 1 and 2 which have drums on them. The FX pads also update as you modify the controls. The gator effect rhythmically gates the sound in time to your music. First, latch the effect pad to hear it, and select Flutter Preset. This control affects the gator width. This control sets the amount of gating. And this control sets the LFO speed. Grab the XY pad to move both at once. The flanger is a classic effect 
used by DJs and producers. It creates a rich stereo phasing effect using a tempo synced LFO. First, latch the effect pad to hear it and select the metallic preset. Press the I button. On the left are flanger delay and feedback controls. This is the flanger delay depth control. And this control sets feedback amount. On the right are flanger amount and stereo phase controls. Adjust the flanger LFO amount. This is the classic sound you'll be familiar with. When using stereo phase control, headphones are required to hear this effect. Finally, let's control the LFO speed. Set delay to a low amount, then adjust LFO speed. A slow LFO speed is usually used. Grab the XY pads to move both at once. The stopper effect simulates a tape slowing down and also helps with volume and filter fade outs and fade ins. Select the effects pad and assign board DJ preset. It sounds like a record stop too. The input ramp at the start sets the time it takes for the effect to fully occur. A long time sounds like this. A short time sounds like this. The output ramp works the same way. Press the I button. There are four other modes to the stopper effect. Select low pass filter and set to medium times. Now trigger the filter. High pass filter is also available. The final option is the volume fade in or out. Set a long in time and a short out time and trigger now. This is great for fade outs. The delay effect not only provides a classic delay, but also introduces a unique filter feedback loop driven by a time sync LFO. This effect is a bit more advanced. Either use the presets or hang in there for some serious techie stuff coming up. First, latch the effect pad to hear it and select the zippy preset. Let's start with delay time. With this always synced to the beat. Press the unlock button to select different values. Now relock to set to the same values. To help hear the delay effect, let's just listen to some drums. And let's start with the left circle. The filter frequency control sets the amount of filtering. Lower amounts filter more. The filter resonance control is available. Higher amounts add more. The LFO to frequency cutoff controls the amount of filter modulation by the LFO. Set delay time to half. Now try it. Higher amounts modulate more. The LFO to frequency resonance controls the amount of resonance modulation by the LFO. Higher amounts modulate more. On the other side, are level controls. This control sets the level of the effect. And this control sets feedback volume or the intensity of the delay. 
Higher values mean more delays. This control switches a stereo signal left and right channels. Headphones are highly recommended to hear this. And this control switches a stereo signal left and right channels in the feedback path. Again, headphones are recommended to hear this. Phew, we got there. The delay is quite tricky, but can achieve some amazing sounds. At any time, you can save a preset using the plus button. For advanced users, we will just mention the effects chain ordering. At present, the FX are ordered as follows. The stutter, followed by auto filter, into the channel filter. Then the gator, the stopper, the channel volume, and finally the delay. With all of these effects, Launchpad becomes a powerful performance app. For even more fun, you can record your effect sounds and even re-import them back into the app using the audio import feature. But that's for another day. More videos are available on audio importing and much more. Thanks for listening.